So what's going on Scratch community? This is Alex from Berlin. Welcome to my um, fifth tutorial. Yeah, fifth uh, turntablism education here on YouTube. So and today I'm going to show you some helpful hints, some tips, uh, training schedule for drumming. Yeah, scratching with drum sounds. So a priory I have to say I use for this uh, sound material from the Gagball Dirt Style release and oh sorry it sounds a little bit noisy yeah but I s for me uh, personally it's um, cool because the soundscape or I use this noise for uh, uh, such a soundscape because you can cut this noise with uh, different techniques. And this is like a R sound under the drum segment, yeah? But you can also choose uh, some clean drum segments for drumming. And a really helpful hint for training is that you use a hi-hat. A hi-hat is really important, a hi-hat or a metronome, because it trains your uh, rhythmical feeling. And my hi-hat is in a time where you have a 116, goes like this here. Oh, it's too loud. So, and then... So this is really, really, really important. But in case you have no chance to add a hi-hat, you can also take uh, a simple beat, a simple scratch beat, like this here. Here's a beat from Tyra from Saigon. And you can play it and then cut the bass, okay? Cut the bass and uh, raise up the middle frequencies, and then you have also a higher. This is also really cool, but much cooler is it when you choose. Um, some old tunes. Oh, this is my favorite uh, hint of uh, drumming because oh, I, I have I have taken here a song from a band named as the Zombies. This is a really old tune. So, and when I play it, it sounds really funky, really soul. And then you can try to. So, okay, and next, some fundamentals related to drumming. Uh, drumming is basically nothing as scratching, but with a certain sample. Yeah, or basically two samples, because we use a kick drum and a hi-hat. <laughs> a hi-hat, a snare, sorry. So, and now the goal is to place this segments on certain rhythmical positions to imitate a drum sequence yeah my tip or my advice my fundamental is that I distinguish 
drumming in two different playing techniques. The first playing technique is the release mode. And the release mode or the trademark of the release mode is that we create always a constant pitch related to the kick drum and to the snare. The second playing style is the hand mode. So in the hand mode is really cool beca because you can uh, change the pitch by your hand motion and you have the possibility to create different uh, courses or paths or whatever with the record motion yeah so um, we start at first with some helpful hints related to the release mode or uh, a little training schedule um, that means when you consider or when you think about it you have now the possibility to place your kick drums in different rays over the hi-hat yeah it goes like this some common hip-hop beats are for example so now you can also play Or the most common variation is so another way is so and as you saw there were four possibilities to place the kick drum in a different way inside the four quarter beat. So another advice is when you start kick drum, uh, drumming or in the release mode, it's very comfortable to use the line fader because you can alternate or you can change the, or variate the dynamic, the volume of the kick drum. And you create always a soft fade in and a soft fade out of the sound. Yeah, when you use the cross fader in opposite, it's more sharper because the sound is either on or off. Yeah, it sounds sharper. But when you use the line fader, it's more softer. Okay, let's summarize. There are many, many variations to position the kick drum inside a four quarter beat. Yeah, the most common variation you can um, check some hip hop beats, for example, to know what I mean. The most common variations are when you place the kick drum at first on the one beat and then you let it play. Or another variation is when you play the kick drum two times in the time where you're for one eight. Hello, my name is Dr. Green Dump. Yeah. Or you can also try to advance the style when you play the kick drum in a one sixteen.